hi, this is my science project. Can poop power the world? And the answer is yes. the um, Innovation Exposition. Uh, it is a kind of a science fair uh, where we have kids from many schools competing uh, for innovative projects that could help our world. The Innovation Exposition started last year. It has six categories that students could compete in were science fiction, reverse engineering, invention, environmental innovation, uh, scientific inquiry, and creativity with 3D printing. And really my goal with bringing this event to Pasadena was to provide students with an opportunity to explore science in a variety of ways. Well, my name is Chris Anderson and I'm the district energy manager and I'm here at the science fair judging projects and I have to say I was thoroughly amazed. Fourth grade through seventh grade, their knowledge of concepts are just so far beyond what mine was at a similar age. And this is coming from a guy that has a degree in physics and a degree in engineering. This is a microbial fuel cell. It uses two kinds of microorganisms in soil that produce electrons, protons, and carbon dioxide as a byproduct of eating nutrients in that soil to produce electricity. My project is on the dangerous levels of lead in local soil. For this instance, there, it's cloudy. So cloudy means there is no lead, but there are some other minerals, and that they might be harmful. Innovation Exposition gives students the chance to really explore their creativity in a category that interests them. And that's really where we're going with science education as a whole and what we want our students to start doing as early as kindergarten and start inventing and creating things and really letting their creativity lead them in science. All these projects that I saw were hands-on, they were creative, they were innovative, and half of the kids created something that was a need. I'm very proud. Couldn't imagine that students at this early age could be this thorough in their knowledge and understanding. I asked some very difficult questions, including having them pry beyond what was asked. I'm amazed. I'm just simply amazed. The students of today, by the time they get to high school age, where I would have seen them, are just going to be incredible. They're going to be so far beyond what I've seen in the classroom, and it really gives me hope for science and mathematics in the future of our country.